IT Center for Science in Finland. And uh, not yet. So the, the um, header there is making schemas and mappings available and fair. And uh, Tommy and Jonas are creating this metadata and schema crosswalk registry for um, fair core for EOSC project. Um, yes. So EOSC being mentioned, uh, it is uh, not a project, but rather, rather a um, funding program in the European uh, Commission um, uh, designed to create a virtu virtual environment for sharing and accessing research data across borders and scientific disciplines. And uh, FAIRCO for EOSC is uh, a project uh, contributing to this goal. Uh, I think FAIR principles are kind of should be uh, familiar to all at this point, but I want to remind that it's not only for making data or digital objects understandable for humans, but also making all of them machine actionable. And this is uh, much harder to achieve a goal. I'm also talking about fair enabling resources. Uh, it's a term combining community standards and schemas that represent the syntax of the data with semantic artifacts uh, that are all kinds of vocabularies ranging from simple control vocabularies to highly complex ontology models. Um, so all of these fair enabling resources actually should be fair themselves. So the interoperability principle number two states that metadata and data should use vocabularies that follow the fair principles. Is this possible um, or how could we achieve this? Um, this? There are good steps taken towards this goal. Um, some vocabularies are published with metadata. They have a persistent identifier and they are available in a registry or, or with the data. Um, such registries are um, do exist. For example, Obo Foundry has a governance model for uh, ontologies. And also Tadwick standards are cited by some registries. I'm not really aware how machine actionable and, and do, do our Tadwick standards have metadata, but um, we are still in good uh, ways documenting what we are doing. But uh, could also mappings and crosswalks uh, be public and fair? This is a question that uh, FAIRCO for EOSC tries to create one so possible solution. So mappings relate the content of items in different data the description schemas meant for similar kinds of information. Uh, and this is the structural uh, mappings that uh, can be done between schemas, but there's also semantic mapping, mappings uh, with different kinds of relation types. Equality, if they are close or exact matches, if they are broader than or narrower than compared to each other or uh, values can need to be uh, converted between schemes uh, or ontology models like dates and times and coordinate systems or unit conversions. These are also mappings. Um, so the main purposes uh, of creating these mappings and crosswalks are aggregating and integrating data sets for further processing, retrieval of suitable records from heterogeneous sources. Uh, but these crosswalks uh, making a difference to mappings uh, need not always uh, be complete. They, they, are, they just need to achieve their uh, project limited purpose and they may be really experimental. Uh, and there's a difference between modeling and only specifying relations and actually converting the data, collecting all relevant mappings and creating these crosswalks and putting this into code. And these crosswalks and the code would be really nice if it could be shared um, publicly. Mapping can, these mappings can be represented or found in many different formats. Uh, they can be research papers, tables, codes, XSLT, RDF, or all uh, OWL, 
uh, tables are still broadly used as mappings and that's fine. Um, you can document those as well. Uh, source code or uh, XSLT are also heavily used. Mappings in non-RDF formats should not be ignored, but uh, their fairness can be improved by providing proper metadata, provenance and registration by using persistent identifiers. However, in the future, it would be recommended to start using some typology or, or vocabulary for, for describing these uh, mappings and crosswalks. Uh, one possible solution or vocabulary could be uh, SSSOM, simple standard for sharing ontological mappings. Um, and now uh, to the FAIRCO for EOSC project, uh, they are creating metadata and schema crosswalk registry for all kinds of mappings, including those embedded in text, tables, code. Um, and this tool should then enable fair data management functions. Uh, so proper metadata provenance, PIDs helping researchers to find, reuse, and share these crosswalks uh, between projects and through time. A graphical mapping tool allowing users to create crosswalks between different metadata schemas. And these crosswalks uh, then would become an important way of documenting data processing in, in projects or between infrastructures. And this would help also uh, having reproducible research if, if uh, many different data sources are used in a study, for example. So sharing these crosswalks can also enhance collaboration and, and improve fairness of uh, and, and reproducibility of all research. And this was my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Hannah. So our next presenter is online, although it's quite an unpleasant time for him. 